Once upon a day most Scottish, with the sun proving most standoffish, I sat pondering over my law-filled diary. Sombre winter was almost here, as I updated my entry on elusive weir deer. Was that a sound, a distant whinny? Ears and brain could not quite agree, and this was something that bothered me. To the kitchen, then, I made tracks, much in the mood to find some snacks, when I chanced to glance upon my basil tree. Though two days since it had been bought, its life was already drained to naught. A herb first upright, proudly greener than a pea, now pallid, dried, and drooping unseemly. And this was something that bothered me. Discomfited and not a little scared, I went outside to take some air. Perhaps too much work had caught up with me. But there outside, a muddy symbol daunting, yet another sign of this, my haunting, impressed into the dirt, clear before me, a hoofprint, unmistakably horsey, and this was something that bothered me. The mystery was now a little unfurled, pursued by a beast not of this world, but what manner of creature, what kind of beastie. A final test, all I need, to burn a small sample of pungent seaweed. Instantly in response, a most terrifying scree. The burnt weed made the answer plain to see. Poor soul was I, pursued by the Nukla V. Terrified, I decided to bolt, ragged breath catching in my throat. Then furious hoofbeats hot behind me. Though clouded by existential fear, still my mind scrabbled for a simple idea. Can this monster be outwitted by me? Is there more can be done than just continue to flee? What way to be rid of Nukla V? Then, in memory, the idea I sought for. Nukla V hates the touch of fresh water. A pond, a loch, or a quick-flowing stream. Scotland, you'll find, in this respect, is kind. It's a place where sweet water runs free. And in a moment, I let the waters surround me and shield me from the terrible Nukla V. I had found my respite, and with what was left of my might, from my lungs I let the colourful curses fly free. Be all exposed. Oh, look at my big muscles. Look at my black pumping blood. The beast was irate, but could not penetrate further into my place of safety. And thus I found almost uncontained glee that I had outfoxed cunning Nukla V. Still, though I was indeed terribly clever, I couldn't live here for all and forever. Of a more permanent fix, I realised I had need. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. Through my book, I did pour for a solution in folklore, and a powerful curse I began to read. Something to capture this most demonic of steeds. It was time to banish old Nukla V. <laughs> With a soul shredding and a whiff of peat reek, I sent away the Nukla V. Believe it or not at all, there remained a spirit in a bottle. Well, now this greatly pleases me. I have a new bottle of whiskey and a way to remember the Nukla V. And that is the true story of how I came this close to being the most recent meal of the Nukla V. Now, usually, the beast stays quite far north, terrorising the Orkney Islands, and I have no idea what it was doing coming this far south. Possibly some of my ancestors generations ago had done something unforgivable, and the beast finally tracked me down due to how visible I am on YouTube. Stranger things have happened. I think it left these bottles in the way of a, a warning or maybe a reminder, and boy, are they something special. So Cask88 are now extremely proud to announce, finally, the fourth in our Scottish folklore series, the Nukla V. The Nukla V is a 31-year-old single malt distilled at the Highland Park Distillery on the 6th of June 1988. It's been dual matured, first in an ex-sherry cask and then transferred for finishing into an ex Rivasalt French wine cask. Quite unusual, that one. Full-bodied and dark as anything. It's a very complex dram. A burst of jammy sweetness, which is chased by savoury, spicy notes, and a finish that doesn't give up the chase for a good long while. An extraordinary whiskey from an extraordinary place. And just like the real Nukla V, this one can be at least partially tamed with just a splash of fresh water. 
I leave that up to you. For further details, uh, take a look at the bottle on the Cask88 website. Links and things like that are all below. Look fast though, this one really is very limited and probably not cursed. Until next time.